Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I have a book outlet haul and I cannot wait to share this one with you guys because there is some good stuff in here. Stick around and I'll show you. All right, let's just get into what is in here. I will just kind of briefly show you, I'll flip through some pages and we will enjoy this together. And here, let me give myself some room. All right. Okay, this first one, I have heard so much about this, this book and I've seen it all over the place. I've never seen it on Book Outlet and I knew there was some reason why I didn't purchase it and it was because I just, just knew it was going to come to Book Outlet one day and I paid like eight bucks for this and I am so excited. So it's the I Am 40 Reasons to Trust God. I am really, really excited for this one. Um, it's just the different names of God that go and, it, you know, it gives you a Bible story. These illustrations look fantastic. Wow, look at that. Um, yeah, I have heard so much about this and I am so excited that we finally have it. All right, next is, oh, and I do want to mention, I just kind of got a range of things here, um, but I'll kind of explain what I'm thinking for each one. So obviously this one will be like morning basket kind of deal. Okay, so this next one, um, I've never heard of it before, and I really wasn't going to get anything fall, like Thanksgiving, anything like that related. Um, and if you guys didn't see my fall books video, I will link it up here for you. We already have a pretty good selection of fall books. But then as I started looking, I realized, like, can we ever have too many? I don't know. So I grabbed this one. It's called Thank You, Sarah. And it's The Woman Who Saved Thanksgiving. So I, I don't know. I guess we'll see how that one goes. It looks interesting. The, um, the illustrations are quite a bit different than we're used to, but um, we're also getting into artists, so that'll be kind of cool, have different, different illustrations. All right, next is who were the American pioneers and other questions about westward expansion. And we are going to be doing uh, living off the land and farming and food at the beginning of the year, hopefully. And so that's what I got this for. Um, from looking through the living off the land, that is more of the style that it takes, is, is more of like the pioneer homesteading type lifestyle. So I didn't really have anything on that. And I wanted to add some of those things to our collection. So our collection <laughs> to our library. So I thought maybe this would be a good place to start. Again, I've never heard of it, but we'll see. Another one I have never seen. Last stop on the Reindeer Express. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, right? Look at this. Y'all, how cool. How cool is that? And there's also... Um, little lift the flaps. Let me see. So see if I can show you. So this here, this door opens and it's a lift the flap. Now there's, you know, no additional information, but it goes along with the story, I guess. And then you flip it over and it's another door on that side. Same here. So cool. So this says Mia's grandpa lives far away and Christmas won't be the same without him. But when Mia discovers a world within a mysterious mailbox, she is whisked away on a magical adventure, one that she and Grandpa will never forget. So, so cool. Um, okay, these next two are, I guess maybe this is a series. And I would, if we like these, I would be interested to maybe add some more um, of these books if it is a series. 
Um, yeah, so it is a series. It tells me right here, titles in this series. And so uh, these I figured would go along well with the living off the land units, but also the transportation units. So I found um, Stagecoaches and Railroads, and it's the All About America series. Um, and just kind of briefly looking through, it looks like there's actually quite a bit of information in there. Um, I'll be interested to, to go through and, and kind of see how information is presented and what all is included and all that stuff. Um, but it looks looks pretty good um and i'm quite sure there's some cool stuff that we can take away from them this this might be a little bit older uh for us at this point but i think they were just a couple bucks so uh if we like them if thing if it's good uh then this will be good to keep for later so the stagecoaches and railroads and then i also got wagon trains and settlers again this would probably be more for um, the living on the land or living off the land and then this would probably be more for transportation but again just for a couple bucks i thought it would be worth it to just snag them and see what they were about all right so next is grandma's gift never heard of this one um but it looks really good. So uh, on the back it says, in this prequel to Grandma's Records, Eric Velasquez brings readers back to a special day with his grandmother that changed his life forever. So I thought this would be a good one. Um, if I'm remembering correctly, this is, oh, I'm not even showing you guys. I, I'm the worst at that, so sorry. Um, maybe with art maybe they like they go to an art museum so i'm thinking for artists which obviously is coming up soon um this is the author of the book is eric in the story uh, and i have never heard of him before so i thought this would be a good one to add in for artists all right next is uh another one i just grabbed because I, I thought maybe this would be kind of cool for wake up basket um, come Christmas time. So it is Seek and Find a Christmas Carol. This one looks pretty cool. Again, with the illustrations, they're beautiful and they're just a little different than we're used to. So it takes you through all of the characters and, um, you know, different things in the story and then you have to find them on the page so pretty cool thought this would be a fun one to have a christmas carol seek and find all right next i've heard a lot about this one this will be another one that we use for uh living off the land and farming and food but the year at maple hill farm this one looks really cute um, i guess maybe we could use it now but i think i'm gonna save it um, we've got quite a bit for uh this time of year especially now that i've added two so i think i'm gonna save this one for um farming and food all right next up is berenstein bears thanksgiving stories uh, I believe this is like two or three stories in here. A classic. We have Charlie Brown for Thanksgiving. So gotta have Berenstein Bears for Thanksgiving. So cute. And this is the, um, the Living Lights version. Um, and from, I don't remember that growing up, but the Living Lights version is the Christian version of the Berenstein Bears from my understanding. So that's pretty cool. All right, if you guys saw my fall books, I had a uh, book that was very similar to this. So I thought I would add this one in. This is the 12 days of winter. We have the 12 days of Thanksgiving. So naturally I had to add this one in. And it of course just follows along like the song of the 12 days of Christmas. Oh wow. I guess here's a little pop out of a snowman you can put together. 
Well, that's nice because we do not get snow. So that'll be fun. She'll have her own snow yam. Okay, we're getting close. Three left. This one um, actually was a little bit of a bigger box. So, all right, this is the last Thanksgiving. And I got this because I, this is another one I have seen everywhere. And I finally was able to snag it. I also want to point out, this is really the first book that I've gotten from Book Outlet with any damage to it um like ever like i've never had a book that's come with any kind of issues and this one can you see this here it's got like this little i don't know it almost looks like a scrape or something and then the corner if you can see in the reflection there is kind of a little bit bent that's it now that may be bothersome to some uh to me for what i paid don't care <laughs> just gonna be honest it's not that big of a deal especially for what I paid for it um and I'm I'm fine with that and again this is really the only one I've ever had that has had anything like that so I'll take it um but yeah so this one looks really interesting I am excited to to read this one again I have heard some good things about it so I'm excited to read that over the river and through the wood. And can you guys see it's like reflective, really, really pretty. So this one, and what's cool with this, if you have littles, like little littles, these are like thick plasticky cardboard, not cardboard, but like cardstock paper, like real heavy paper. Um, so this would even work if you have littles. Um, who are still in like the board book stage this you could make this work for Christmas with with them um, so yeah this one just looked really fun very simple read I thought maybe this would be a good reader for my daughter um, yeah I like it so this one is over the river and through the wood okay this last one I was really excited to find the I Am book. Super excited, especially for eight bucks. But this last one, I, as soon as I saw, I'll put it to you this way. The book that I'm getting ready to show you is the book that initiated this book outlet order. <laughs> That's how that went. I, I noticed that it was on there and I could not let it go for the price. A $30 book and I got it for like 10 bucks. Could have been 11, could have been nine, somewhere around $10. Crazy, crazy good deal. So naturally I had to order it. Anyways, the book that I snagged for $10 is The 50 Cities. You guys, this book is insane, insane. I knew that it was gonna be good but I didn't realize how good, like look how there are, I mean, this thing is massive and it is so beautiful. Okay, let me see if I can get you a little closer. I don't, I can't see what I'm showing you. So hopefully, <laughs> hello, hopefully you guys are getting a good look there. But there is so much information. The other thing too is the city that is closest to where we live, like never makes it onto anything ever. And it's in the book. So I for sure had to get it when we realized that. Um, but it is so cool. Like it will tell you here, like it gives you like, um, famous people who are from the area. It gives you like a day in the life of someone who uh, lives in the area. This is kind of a downtown look at the city where the different museums and parks and, and things are. It's just so good. All right, I think that is it for this video. We're all out. <laughs> So if you guys have any of these books, leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about it. If there's any of these books maybe that you would want to add to your library, let me know that also. Um, 
yeah. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.